ha 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 ha. Hi everyone, Freethany Spam Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new USA out of Vietnam record, Crashing Diseases and Incurable Airplanes. This is USA out of Vietnam's hour-long debut album, a lengthy record, but it caught my ear on first listen with this really gargantuan sound. This thing is five songs long. Most of them are moving past the 10 minute mark pretty easily, but the varied influences this band puts on display keep the songs pretty interesting. The strongest of all these influences being post-rock. That epic, slow-building, experimental rock subgenre popularized by bands like Cigaros, Godspeed You Black Emperor, Swans, Mogwai, Explosions in the Sky, Mono, Talk Talk, and Silvermount Zion, a group who I think USA out of Vietnam has a lot in common with in its incorporation of vocals into these post-rock-like song structures. That was pretty nerdy. Obviously, USA out of Vietnam is a little too late to be a part of the roots of this genre, like many of the bands that I just named, but these guys clearly pay attention to the roots, incorporating elements of drone and shoegaze and noise rock. There's even a song on here that has this long stretch of tape with this guy talking about some really esoteric existentialist mumbo jumbo. These guys even bring a little bit of sludge metal into the fold. Do not take USA out of Vietnam as some third-rate, third-generation post-rock band which has just essentially dumbed the genre down to shimmering guitar baby food. They are much more than that. But still, even though I do think they are better than bands that, that fit that bill, there are some things about this record that rub me the wrong way right from the word go, one of them being the production, the recording of the instrumentation, and maybe even the mix of this record leaves some of these songs feeling a little muddy, a little dull, but especially the vocals feel incredibly distant a lot of the time. The lead vocals on this record are kind of weak, a little nondescript. Outside of that, I think these guys did a really good job of composing some really expansive rock songs with bright horns, heavy guitars, blaring bass, strings as well, piano, some soaring chorus vocals, like with the song You Are a Comet, You Are on Fire, the shortest song on this entire record at seven minutes, has that long, expansive monologue that I talked with you about earlier in the review, which gives way to a really epic blast of guitars and drums. I mean, really heavy, immense stuff. It's like two planets filled with garbage trucks which are filled with light bulbs colliding. The first track on here is even more epic with these huge, huge chorus vocals, which are absolutely beautiful. You know, even though they're not really as upfront as I would like vocals like this to be, they do add a lot of beautiful color to the track. And these two songs in general really bring some crushing blows on this record. But as soon as the halfway point of this LP rolls in, songs like Asphodel 1322 and especially Leg of Lamb, USA out of Vietnam essentially leans a little too hard on the vocals to kind of carry the song. And the vocals just don't have the personality or the presence to lead these songs in the way that I feel like the band is pushing them to. Either they're too heavily warped in effects to even really be memorable, or when they're raw and really dry, they just feel too lightweight to really leave an impact. I think the only vocal on here that works against that is the one that opens up the final track on this record, which feels pretty weary and sort of menacing in a way, sort of dark. Thankfully, a lot of the time there is more of an emphasis on the instrumentation on this record or the vocals and instrumentation are in a bit of a balance. And the instrumental compositions on these three final tracks are impressive and heavy and reliable and colorful and really expansive like the two songs that kick this entire LP off. There's a lot to like about USA Vietnam and this record. I mean, overall my opinion of this LP is good. I just focus on these few things that I think take this record down a bit because I think this is really a band to watch and I think they have an incredible amount of potential. I just feel like the vocals could be cleaned up turned up, maybe delivered with a bit more passion or emotion, and the production could be a bit clearer as well. Overall, I'm feeling a strong six to a light seven on this thing. Tran, Zition, if you've given this LP a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, USA out of Vietnam. Forever.